Allowing researchers to access sensitive data while protecting people's privacy is critical. This is why we at UK Data Service use the Five Safes framework. Five Safes is used by a range of secure labs, including the UK's Office for National Statistics. Meet Mark. He is conducting research using the UK Data Service to look at the effects of paying incentives to employees. His research could identify important strategies for businesses on how they incentivize staff and make use of bonuses. The five safes provide a framework that enables Mark to get access to the data he needs while protecting the privacy of individuals represented in the data. On their own, each of the five safes, safe data, safe projects, safe people, safe settings, safe outputs, reduce the risk of sensitive data being used incorrectly. Applied in conjunction, they provide complete assurance. Carrying out research which involves people or organisations is usually done with data which has been anonymised, so that it should be absolutely impossible to identify any individual or business. These data can be downloaded by researchers such as Mark and used on their computers. Sometimes this anonymization means that certain research cannot be carried out because the detail in the data has been lost to protect these people or businesses. Our secure lab provides Mark with access to data which has been de-identified, but where there is a risk of disclosure because the extra detail could allow him to identify an individual or business. He needs this extra information to get more detailed and therefore more useful results. These data are less safe than those which can be downloaded by most registered users, but there are other checks which make up for this. When using our secure lab, Mark can only work on safe projects. All analysis carried out in the secure lab is informed by a project proposal which is vetted by the data controller via their own data access committee. No frivolous applications are allowed and all project proposals must meet a public benefit criteria. To use our secure lab and other secure data centres, Mark would have to have passed our safe people test. He would have to come from a trusted academic institution, demonstrated his suitability for accessing the data and signed a user agreement. He will also have attended a one-day training course, which explains his legal and ethical responsibilities in accessing these data. Safe settings is about the environment in which these data are accessed. Data which are sensitive can only be accessed through industry standard remote access technologies. But we also instill a better understanding of information security risks in both our staff and for researchers, which doubles up the benefits of safe settings. Lastly, once Mark has done his work, he can't take anything out of our safe settings until it's been checked by our team of experts. We use agreed statistical disclosure control techniques to ensure that there is no risk of re-identification. Safe outputs allow Mark to use more detailed data, but ensure that people or organisations don't get harmed. The five safes, enabling research without compromising privacy.